giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now. FRC is produced in partnership with Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers. Visit careers.striker.com forward slash first to view openings, internships, and co-ops tailored to those who are in first. That's careers.stryker.com forward slash first. And by the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And also viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. <laughs> so welcome it is uh we the north regional uh we, we got seven events today to talk about from last week and three on deck for week three so let's just get right into it uh reporting for first updates now i'm tegan i'm dan i'm chris so before we get too far into it i'm gonna page our producer tyler to talk about our giveaway for this week hello it now so uh we're gonna be giving away uh once again rev robotics with the takeover this week uh giving away for this one uh, we're going to be doing the Ultra Planetary Cartridge 4 to 1. Uh, so, once again, if you haven't checked out the uh, Rev product family, the Brushless Revolution, of course, Spark Max controller, the true all in one controller, and the Neil Brushless motor, uh, make sure you go check these out. We'll put a link in chat on there. Lots of great stuff from Rev uh, giving away, and we thank them for that. If you're interested in winning, don't forget keyword later on during the show. You have to follow in order to win, and subscribers get five times luck. Good luck and enjoy We the North. So, yes. this week. Yes, this week's word is cling bling. You'll understand why in a bit. So jumping right into our recaps, let's go to Lake Superior. Yes, the Lake Superior Regional. Love doing that. All right, so we had 63 teams, 95 qualification matches. Uh, not a single team would go undefeated at this competition, though there was no one was able to pull that off. Um, not single Stage 2 was never completed as well throughout the whole competition. But in the end, we had 1816, the Green Machines. They take that top spot. Um, the final matches, we would see um, the winning, all the winning scores in the final matches in the ELIMS were above 100 points, minus one quarter final match. Um, but whittling down to the final matches, we had the Seed 1 Alliance of 1816, 167, and 5464 facing off the Seed 3 captains, 5348, along with 4728 and 5226. Uh, and the first final match it was a great start, Otto, from uh, the Red Alliance, number one. 11 shots in the upper port, while Blue only were able to get in seven in the upper port. Um, shots from both sides going back and forth. Um, but a lot more misses on the Blue side. So, unfortunately, um, in the end, they would end up losing. They also only had one robot climb, which was their downfall in that first match. And that pretty much the same story uh, through the second match. Um, they didn't have two robots climb in the end, and Red Team just dominated right through it. Um, also, congrats to Team 2526 Crimson Robotics with a silver gold bling bling, taking home their second ever chairman's win. And 4009 Denfield the DNA Robotics brought home their second engineering inspiration award. Um, both teams won last season 2016 at the same competition. Kind of fun note. Tyler, real quick. Yeah, I know we got a lot to cover today, guys, so we have to be a little bit short. Yes. I want to give a huge shout out to 167, though, who, if you watch Premiere Night, uh, revealed an awesome video where uh, they showed about last year at the Seven Rivers Regional where they kind of got uh, screwed out of the finals run on their end uh, through uh, literally they were on the field and they got pulled off the field to replay a semifinal match when they were on the field for finals. So huge shout out to 167, who I bet is feeling real good with this redemption win here. Congrats to them. Yes, they did a great job there. But we're going to move to the other side of the curtain at this event. The Northern Lights Regional. With another 60 teams, 89 qualification matches to prove those robots ready for the ELIMS. Um, only one team would go undefeated throughout the entire competition. That was 24-91 no mythic. It was awesome to see that happen. Um, throughout all the qual matches, again, stage two was never achieved. Um, in one final match, it did happen. Uh, but other than that, color wheel was never really touched. Um, in the finals, we would see Seed 1, Alliance Captains 2491 with Nightcrawlers 2052 and 4182 matched up against Seed 2, 
7021 as the captains, 2987 and 48-46 uh, going head-to-head in the final matches. Um, going into those final matches, um, coming out of Otto in that first match, Blue Lines would have a slight advantage um, with nine shots in the upper goal and three of them going into the inner port. Um, so Alliance 1 was going down 12 points going into Teleop. But man, that Teleop, 20 2052, just scoring shots after shots, even with a defense bot right on them. Um, no Mythic was also running some really good trench shots um, in there, so they were able to make up ground there. Um, so during the climb, they only had two robots go up um, for the red side, so Blue had everyone hung and hang and leveled. Um, but unfortunately, there was a tech foul. One of the Blue bots sent their climber up before entering the rendezvous point. And uh, that swung the match with that tech foul to the red. Um, had that not have happened, the blue would have won. And with the second round would have been a little more interesting. Um, but the, the final round, it did end at the final second round. Spoiler alert. Um, it was kind of pretty much the same thing. Uh, blue led going into Teleop. But after Teleop hit uh, 2052, just sinking shots in that upper goal. Um, a little bit of defense was able to pretty much shut down a lot of the blue robots from uh, getting any more points. So Red just kind of ran away with those matches and Teleop just dominated getting those, making up those points from Autonomous, which was cool to see. Um, that last match had six robots in the air, everyone hung. So it did come down to how good they did in Teleop. Uh, so also, congratulations to 2202 Beast Robotics taking home their second ever, or taking home their first ever Chairman's Award. And 2987 Rogue Robotics with a double silver. Bling bling, taking home their first ever engineering inspiration award. All them cling blings. All right, moving on. All right, let's take it down to the Midwest. The iconic Midwest Regional is now over, and we saw 54 teams duke it out for a ticket to the championship. This event was stacked, featuring many heavy hitters such as 111 Wild Stang, 930 McGuanago Bears, 2451 Ponage, 1756 Argos, 2338 Geared Forward, and many, many more. At the end of the 90 qualification matches, we saw Team 5847 Ironclad take the first seed. We can't go any further without talking about how Alliance selections played out, and there were four declines of the number one seed this year. So 5847 finally invited 1756 to join their alliance, and they also invited 1675 Ultimate Protection Squad to round out that number one alliance. So due to uh, that field being a little bit scorched, eliminations was really anyone's game. So quarterfinals seem to be a very chaotic set of matches, with the number two seeded alliance of 2338 gear forward, 7411 cross threaded, and 2202 Titan Robotics were the only alliance to finish their matches in two. With all the other matches we saw over the number one, two, four alliance moved on, with the only upset to happen in the quarters being the sixth seed over the third seed. Right. So now moving on to semifinals, we see a lot of teams go hard, and all the energy the red number one alliance lost against. Uh, and it lost in the first matches of the semis, 54 to 160, because a red robot lost a battery in the match. The number four lines of 1732 Hilltopper, 1625 Winnovation, 3488 Eagle Army posed to be too much for the number one alliance. And with a close loss of 144 to 152, it sends the number four alliance into the finals. Across the bracket, we see the number two alliance going in cool and collected, played hard winning, and won their match against six seed, 195 to 175, and 203 to 148. So we got some big scores leading up. So, with the semifinals over and the number two and the number four seeded alliances facing off in the finals, these two alliances are very evenly matched. Being the only set of limbs for the number two seed lost match, sending it to three. So, first two matches were back and forth. But thanks to some quick collecting and firing from 2338 and 7411, the number two seed, number two banner. Thanks to a triple balance climb and even stronger teleop, it was a site two see. Uh, we'd like to congratulate Team 4191 IMC from Turkey for taking home the Chairman's Award win. And another congratulations to 2338 with that gold-silver cling-bling for getting the EI Award. Cling-bling! Cling-bling! And finally, I'd like to congratulate Ron Faulkner from 2451 for getting the Woody Flowers Award. Um, he was my mentor back in high school. He's written me multiple letters of recommendations. He deserves this award so much, so big ups to him for getting it. And thank you for all the work you do in Illinois, Ron. So... From with that being done, let's move on to Bloomington. The Bloomington District event was an incredible showcase of what Indiana has to offer. I was blown away by the polish of some of these robots, really. And by the end of the qualifications, we saw 234 Cyber Blue at the top with a very consistent showcase, picking their partner 1720 Fixed Gears, 
and 7657 Thunderbots rounding out the alliance. Not far behind, however, was 7457 Super Du for Robotics. Keep in mind, this is a second year team competing with the best of Indiana. And they completed their alliance with 1501 Thrust and 3559 Thundercats. Both the Alliance 1 and 2 clean sweep through the quarter and semifinals, and upon meeting up in the finals, it was truly anyone's game. 7657 was playing some killer defense, but 7457 wasn't even really phased by it. They were going hard. Unfortunately, 3559 wasn't moving in the finals for both rounds, and it gave 234 and 1720 all the room it needed to just score like machines. In a clean 2-0 sweep, the first seed took the victory. So shout out to them and also big ups to the second year team who made it to the captain's position, 7454 Huskies on Hogs. And also big ups to 1741 Red Alert for winning Chairman's and 4926 Scalatech for winning Engineering Inspiration. Let's move on to the next events. Yeah. So at Sherbrooke uh, last week, I talked about Quebec starting to become a deeper region and we saw some incredible robots this weekend to prove that point. Uh, some notable ones that I thought were really cool were 3996 Riktik, who had a fantastic full court shooter that was strung right into court uh, qualifications. 5528 all team, they had a beautiful climber and there was a lot more as well. Uh, but it seems like Tech for Kids 3990 just can't be stopped in this region. So they seeded first with only one loss in qualifications. They picked up teams 3360 Hyperion and 2626 Evolution to round out that first alliance. Uh, in the elimination rounds, there was a lot of back and forth going on between teams. There were a lot of evenly uh, paired matches, and it was the sixth seed. They almost made finals, too, so there was a bit of upsets happening. They had a triple climb, and it was 2-0, uh, or it was, sorry, 1-1 one -one in semis, and then it was a red card that actually sealed the deal for them, uh, sending the second alliance back into finals, so it was your standard 1v2 finals. Um Two didn't get any climbs in finals one, okay? So we're talking here about 55-28, all team, 39-96, Rick Tick, and 46-55, La Tech. They were climbing all throughout eliminations, and then finals one, it just didn't work. None of them were up off the ground, so that gave one a really, like, easy win there, almost. And then they just took that momentum and ran with it. The first seed had a triple climb at the end of finals two, put up a really high score, so they just went out in style. So as for Sherbrooke award style, we had two cling blings because 3990 won the first 3990 with the double gold cling bling and then 2626 winning their second straight engineering inspiration award uh, at a uh, Quebec event. Also, a huge shout out to 5528's um, Sonia Carter, their mentor who won the Woody Flowers finalist award. They were also on the finalist alliance. Not quite a cling bling, but close enough. Going into Ontario, now it's time for Georgian College, where this event was really the story of 865 Warp 7. They locked in first position with about four quals to go. They had a bit of adversity in their matches, some jamming with their intakes at the beginning, but they seemed to have it sorted out by the second day of the event. And from there, they were just pounding in shots. Inside shots, outer goals, didn't matter. Defense didn't matter to them. You could hit them and they would just keep scoring. Uh, some other notable robots who were in contention there, 1325, Inverse Paradox. 5409 actually really impressed me at this event with their turreted machine with a six-ball autonomous that was extremely consistent. You also had 4967 with the low bot from that one team. They all did quite well. So when it came to uh, alliance selections, Warp 7, though, they picked up 1325, who have been finalists here two years running. So they're really looking for that gold. And they rounded out their alliance with 6859 BML Robotics, who is a really small team who put together a very good machine with a consistent climber, shooting capacities, and knew how to use their uh, drive chain to make good defense. The finalist alliance of the sixth seed was a little bit more of a Cinderella story. JAG, their partners 781, Kinetic Knights, and 1374 Amped Up. It's an inexperienced alliance. Two out of three uh, robots on this alliance have never seen a finals, but 781 was the defending champs of Georgian, and they were going to use that experience to make it count. They kept those matches really close, and while 865 and 1325 just couldn't be outshot, they kept it close. They had the triple hang as well, and that alliance, you know, huge props to them. It was not an easy fight, but they did a great job. And then back to the Kling Blings, 865 wins their first ever Chairman's Award. Kling Blings! They've Boing, been boing. rebuilding their team from the ground up, and it was a very emotional time for everyone. They've been working so hard for that, so it was hard even for me. I got a little teary-eyed when I was uh, watching them all shout because I was there at the event. And then 4525 Renaissance Robotics, 
a very strong culture team took home the Engineering Inspiration Award. They also had a very good robot, uh, so if you watch some of the matches, keep an eye out for them. Last, but definitely not least, of our seven events is Humber College. So if you told me last week that 11-14 would start the season 0-3, I think you'd be lying. <laughs> if you told me that 11-14 would miss their first ever match in team history, I think you were lying. But in FRC, anything can happen, and it usually does. So Humber College already, there were some alliances who, or sorry, there are some teams who are very strong, who had a bit of a rocky start. I'm not totally sure why. Maybe it's no build. Maybe it's just, you know, it was too warm in Canada or something. But it made for an interesting alliance selection, I'll tell you that. So seeding first, which came as a shock to many, was 50-24, Radar Robotics. And that's not to say, oh, they're not good, they're not great. But this is a team that had a tough few years and they're coming back. And then they decided that they were going to first pick Team Dave, 3683, who elected to form their own alliance. And then they could have picked 1114. They wouldn't have said no. They were seeded 10th, or maybe they would have. But instead, they elected to pick 4519 Kings Robotics as their first partner, uh, which was definitely an interesting choice. And I can see the logic because they were going for that gutsy pick. 4519 had been a very reliable scorer all weekend, whereas 1114, it's a little scary when they had issues at the beginning, but like it's 1114. Uh, and they also, the first seed rounded out their alliance with 5032, the Falcons. This left 3683 to uh, Team Dave to select their pick where they went and picked up 1114 because they hadn't been scorched yet. Rounding out their alliance with visitors from Michigan, 2405, the Trekno Trojans, who are here visiting before their first event. The third alliance, we see 5830, uh, 5834, R3P2, probably, I think, the best robot in their team's history, who picked up 1241, Theory 6, who, again, had some issues during the qualifications and rounded up their alliance with 2198, Paradigm Shift. Your fourth alliance had Big Bang, 1285, who selected a vertically lifting turret of 7558, Alt-F4, Alt and they had a steal of the pick on the back end with a reliable climb in 2386 the trojans the match here to watch was one versus four that one was particularly tight uh four took the first one but one wouldn't be stopped 50 24 45 19 and the falcons they were really going hard they took it in the second and third to see their place in the finals so then you have one versus two where of course the captain of two has declined the captain of one and you want to see how that one pairs out in the end it is really hard to bet against 11 14 so 36 83 and 11 14 did take it in some 2-0 matches and guess what we had double cling bling again so oh, team Dave, 36 83 winning their first chairman's award ever so that's two for two in ontario of new culture teams making a mark and then 50 24 radar robotics with the ei so that's a silver gold cling bling or that's cling a silver bling. silver 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 cling bling so welcome to canada you get a cling bling and you get a cling bling and you get a cling bling uh, with five in just these three events this week. That is a lot of cling blings. So I think we'll let Tegan get some some air after all that recapping. Uh, Tyler, <laughs> I, think, I think we have a striker ad to roll real quick. Get in here. Yeah, real quick is the key word. Is, we had a lot of events to recap, but I do want to <laughs> so give many. a big uh, shout out to our friends at Striker uh, for sponsoring the Weedon North uh, area, helping fund stay loud, live, and independent. Yes, they are. We still are independent. You know why? Because Striker's like, guys, we just really want to get some great people to come work for us. Here's some money. Uh, go do you. And that's kind of the way that we go with this stuff. And that's why Striker's so awesome. Uh, go check them out. Careers.stryker.com. Matter of fact, I just looked it up because, you know, I'm a digital marketer by trade. And they got 65 jobs just in the Kalamazoo, Michigan area. But jobs all over, uh, not just in Michigan, all over the country, all over the world. Uh, and if you're interested in working for somebody that actually supports you being in first, Go check out uh, S T R Y K E R that striker and check out the amazing careers they might have uh, for you, including uh, internships where they even pay for your housing. Not a bad deal. Careers.striker.com. That is not bad at all there. Striker once again being the best thing ever. But we're going to get right into this. FRC Top 10 for the North. We have at number one, 2338. At number two, 3683, number three, 1114. At fourth, coming in 111. At fifth, mid middle of the pack comes 2451. Sixth place is 1756. Seventh place is 2052. Eight is 1816. Coming in ninth is 7457. 
coming in 10th is 2491. These are some great teams to see on here and some kind of cool standouts that, you know, their first probably ever appearance on this list. It's kind of cool to see. I know 2491 this year. I I know their coach pretty well. They had a hard build season, so I'm really happy for them. Pulling out that number one seed is, I think, very well deserved. There's a lot of hard work going into there for all those teams. So with that being said, we've got our top 10 for this week. Uh, we've done our recaps. We haven't done our previews yet, but does each host want to pick one team that can make the FRC top 25 for next week or this week? Quickly, ideally. Uh -huh. uh uh, 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 You're on the spot. Team. I want a rookie team. That's all I'm saying. Again, rookie team, top 25. It will happen. Uh, okay, Dan, you're on the uh, spot. Oh, I think uh, this team, 4476 Waffles, sounds like a pretty good pick. I've never heard of them except for the fact that maybe, just maybe, we'll have a climber this time. Uh, I'm going to actually say 5406 Celtex, Einstein finalists. How can you bet against them? Great team, great people, very well deserved if they do make it. I look forward to seeing them at Ryerson. So we have to bring Tyler back now. It's time for the Rev giveaway keyword. Tyler, where are you? Right here. Well, you can't see me, but uh, with that said, the keyword is going to be uh, just cling, right? That's so much cling, cling. going on. So cling just is just cling. Yeah, cling is the keyword. Cling. And once again, we are giving away uh, the ultra planetary cartridge uh, four to one. Uh, link in there for interest in learning more about Rev as well. But cling is the keyword. We'll be drawn in just a couple minutes. All right, awesome. cool. So let's move on to the previews now. Dagan, do you want to start it off? Sure. So catch me at Carlton, uh, Carlton University, first time event. It's going to be awesome. We have two teams coming from up from the States, 2168 Aluminum Falcons, who absolutely dominated their first event of the year. So they're going to be coming in strong as well. Uh, 4476 Waffles were coming in new and improved with a climber this time. 2994 also did very well at their first event. And 1374 Amped Up were finalists last week. It's their third event of the season. We've also got five debuts for some pretty good teams as well. Like I said, 6328 Mechanical Advantage. If you haven't checked out their open build thread, you should. They look very good. 1305 Ice Cubed. 4069 Lowell and Robotics, who were at a practice field last weekend. I saw some good leaks come out from there. 2706 Merge Robotics and 77 Who? 772 Saber Bites. It's a small event with only 26 teams, but we'll see how it goes. I think number, you know, lower seed alliances are actually going to have the advantage here just because of the lack of depth just in number of teams. So, Dan, up to you. Yeah, all right. So we have another pretty small event coming out of Indiana this uh, next week, St. Joseph event, where we got some uh, teams such as 45, Technocat, 71, Hammond, uh, 135, Penn Robotics, and 461, Westside Boiler Invasion to represent Indiana. But we also got some invaders coming in. So we got 144, Wobot, uh, 2771 Code Red Robotics, 3620 uh, Average Joes, and 5069 The Iron Giants coming from Michigan to try to take the spot from Indiana. So let's we'll see how it goes. Back to Tegan for Ryerson. So the second of two Ontario events this weekend is Ryerson. One of the teams that we saw compete at Durham week one and are back for their second event of the year, 4039 Makeshift Robotics. They have something up their sleeve, and I don't want to spoil things too early, but if they get it working, they will be dominant. So keep an eye out for that. Um, we also have two Detroit finalists uh, on Einstein this year, 5406 and 1310. We're partners there. Will they be partners again? We will find out. Both of them are very strong alliances or a very strong robust that could form a strong alliance. Other than that, it's kind of anyone's game. The midfield is very deep here, so it's hard to list off every team that's attending the event. So paging uh, producer Tyler again. We've got uh, some rev stuff talk about yeah we're gonna draw the for giveaway. it yes we're gonna draw for it actually right now so thanks again to rev still got one more to give away on our next show if you're sticking around but the winner for this one dj reaper 274 a subscriber so you know what that means chris what does that mean he wins and rigged emotes in chat great rigged yeah, emotes. That's what it's also very rigged. chris are you rigged. Rigged. up for that rigged. come on Right. There we go. Uh, so congratulations on that. Make sure you shoot me a message either on Discord or Twitch. Please, first name, last name, mailing address, preferably email if there's tracking information, that sort of thing. Thanks, guys. 
So we're running low on time, so we're probably going to have to exit soon. But if you want to talk about things, catch us on Discord, message in Twitch chat. We can still answer your questions there. But thank you, everyone who's been watching today. If you want more First Row Box in your life, you like what we do, all we ask is you let other knows about, others know about the show and that this is the place to go for more FRC in your life. If you have a few bucks to share, we appreciate it. If not, we totally understand and are delighted to have you on board. So on behalf of myself, Chris, Dan, our producer Tyler, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in and thank you to all our moderators and chat. Good luck if you're competing next week and stay tuned for our next show, Best of the West. Talk to you next week. See ya on We the North Recap. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.